was diagnosed with having an intellectual disability when she was in grade three. We didn't know what her challenges were. She was having seizures at that time, and we thought maybe that was, you know, part of it. But it, it she was no, she has an intellectual disability. And the person who told us, who should really not have been an educator, basically, I, we said, well, what does that, what does that mean? What does, what does that mean for her? Will she be working at, you know, a fast food restaurant for the rest of her life? No, I don't even think she's going to be able to do that. Since then, we started educating ourselves on what it means to have an intellectual disability, and we got her into, she was in a great school program that really helped her, but we didn't actually find Special Olympics for a while. She works very, very hard at this. It's, it's her love. She loves the sports, she loves the people, she loves the competing. It, it's given her a goal. So we go from having someone tell us that our daughter is not going to amount to anything to this girl who's representing Canada for the third time. She was able to go to school at Mount Royal University as a post-secondary, uh, inclusive post-secondary program. She was part of that. So she graduated from that. She works full-time with kids with special needs. We truly believe are the result of Special Olympics and her involvement. So when you ask me what it means, it's, 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 her, it's her life. It's, it's made her who she, who she is. So we, yeah, we can't say enough good things about this organization and what it does for people with intellectual disabilities. Yeah,